Hello YouTube community. I get a lot of questions um, from a lot of different techs over the years that I've been doing this about uh, these 3.6 engines and I've done three to five a week, sometimes more, uh, sometimes less, but I do cams, cam phasers, pretty much um, anything that you can do I've done to these motors. Um, one of the biggest uh, problems I think we've been having in the, in the tech world is uh, when you get a P0340 code, which is dealing with the camshaft on the bank one, not knowing, um, you know, putting most techs would just put a cam sensor in on this side and it wouldn't fix the problem. And not knowing what the, you know, that the tone wheel had moved and not having any way to verify um, other than, uh, for me, I've always used a scope to verify that the, the signals were off and I could trace it back to the tone wheel being moved. I didn't know it was as predominant as a problem as it is uh, in, the la in the last probably couple of years. They've been, you know, I've been seeing uh, more and more of them coming in with the wheels moved, uh, so as the dealerships that I work with. Um, you know, so Chrysler finally came out with a tool uh, this tool right here, uh, if I can get it to focus, you can see this is the part number and it says right bank face forward. There's one for the left bank. So this tool will tell you, um, you don't have to guess at it, if this tone wheel right here has moved. So if this wheel has moved, shifted, independently of this uh, camshaft here then your timing is going to be off and you're going to have a p0340 code as well as uh, you can have other codes related to camshaft uh, correlations between the two camshafts they won't be locked uh, so this tool i have looked high and low across internet communities uh, forums use uh, look through youtube and only found one technician, uh, his name is JT, that talks about it, but um, he has yet to post a video on how to use the tool. So this, uh, this is going to be kind of a quick tutorial just to show you how this tool works and what it looks like. So this tool will install and sit in the mount here, just like this, and you'll see it seats right where the camshaft sensor would seat. And it has these two pins right here that come with it. And the, the object of this tool is to prove whether or not the wheel slipped. So I'm going to try. I apologize because I'm using my cell phone. I am going to upgrade my camera to a better camera. I'm sorry. So with this tool here firmly in place, one of these locks will slip in here. And it will engage into the hole. So you have a hole. Let me get a screwdriver. Pardon me. You have a hole, a hole through this tool that this pin slides through the hole in the tone wheel and engages the hole in the tool. You know that this tone wheel has not moved. On the other side, um, when I go to slide the tool in, the tone, it does not line up. I'll get a mirror here and try to show you. If you can see that, that is the hole in the tool. You can see the hole in the cam phaser. It's probably about a quarter inch or more away. Um, I know it looks further away, but you know, through the through the mirror, it's different, but you can see where it's moved. So, you know, technicians that can afford it needs to invest in this tool. Um, it's a going to be a lifesaver. Um, of course, you do have to make sure your timing is lined up. You know, lining up this two marks here on the right side bank, lining up these two marks here on the left side bank. Be sure to, you know,
paint your uh, links right here where your marks are. And there should be 12 of these links in between these marks when all of these timing marks here are lined up. If not, then you've got something off. Check number one here that it is top dead center. Uh, you can do that with a long screwdriver. Just put the screwdriver in, remove all the spark plugs to make it easier to turn over. Turn it over till this rises up all the way. And when these marks line up, you are at true top dead center. Uh, also, I get a lot of questions from mechanics as well as uh, a lot of them will argue with me. Um, and then I get individuals, friends, family, uh, walk-in customers that want to know which one is bank one and, and which one is the left side bank and which one's the right side bank. So it's very easy. Bank one will always be the, the, the side where number one cylinder is in it. And if you can, on this engine, you'll notice where this head, this side here, sticks further in, in than this head here. This head here, if you notice, it's further out. That is the right side of this motor, and that is determined by where you sit in the driver's seat. So sitting inside the driver's seat, this would be left side, which is the driver's side, that's bank, or the uh, left side, that's bank two. The right side, the right bank, is bank one. Bank one is always going to be where number one is located. Um, as I uh, post more and more videos, if any of you guys have any questions, you know, you can feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll return, you know, sit down and try to answer them the best of my ability. Um, I'll give you, uh, I haven't never uploaded videos. I just don't have time. I do, I work by myself and I pretty much solve a lot of issues that most of the dealerships and other repair shops can't solve. Um, so I'll give you a quick introduction video later uh, and there will be a bunch of videos that I've uh, recorded over the years that I'll try to post as I can go through and edit, but uh, just wanted to you know show show this video here, let you guys know that there is a tool that can verify that tone wheel has moved. Again, I usually use my oscilloscope or digital scope, however you want to say it, uh, to verify. Um, but this tool is going to be a uh, you know it's going to be a, a life life changing tool in this and with this engine. So you're going and you're going to see this more and more. I've seen I don't know probably several dozen of these so far and this is the um probably the second or third one i've actually been able to use the tool on uh, the tool is kind of hard to find i go to freedom racing for a lot of my dealer stuff um they have a lot of closeouts so freedom racing um i think they're like 200 and 60 bucks 80 bucks i'm not sure i know it was around 300 dollars because i had it overnighted or next day aired or whatever because I needed the tool, just I wanted to, you know, get a video on it, uh, get it out there on the internet to help people out. So, uh, thanks, and that's all for this video.